Hello, so I'll be doing two Let's Play at the same time. One will be the Early Access version where I'll explore Alazar and do all of the quests, uh, complete all of the locations, get a lot of interesting things. I'll try to do the arena, of course do the arena, see if there is an arena, do the champion, do the boss fight, do, the, do everything in that area and also try to visit the sepulchers and some other things if I can. But at the same time, I cannot do everything in that game because every, too much has changed. For example, the way characters will progress is different now because they will gain more trade points just because of the camping system. You also need a lot more path points because of the way it's changed, so you'll get path points for killing uh, everything and every activity will have some. Also, but you'll need a lot more knowledge points to unlock everything, so that means I will need to upgrade the lectern as soon as possible to get all of the points. The runes are different as well because the way you decipher the runes and what you do with the decipher runes are also different. And the way you have to do the tombs, I don't know, a lot of things have changed, so I recommend you restart the game as well to get the full experience of the game, because the early access version is also slightly buggy, and there will also be a few difficulty problems as well. So overall, I recommend you restart the game to get everything in the game right now, because you will see in my early access version that we'll have some problems. So let's start. Now, I wanted to replace my brute with the warrior, meaning replace the mace guy with the axe guy. The axe guy seems to do a lot more damage, but to be honest, the brute is just so much dive, so much better in most situations. I also wanted to replace the swordsman with the spearman, but I, I think that will make my squad too defensive. I need a brute. I need a swordsman in order because they are kind of like a mishmash of offensive and defensive abilities as opposed to the spearman which is clearly defensive and the axeman which is kind of offensive but I, mean, uh, I don't know I don't think you should attack with, a, with the axeman as I used to attack with the brute. The brute I just sent into the middle of a bunch of enemies and he <laughs> just swings his um, mace and he wins. Also this is changed. I used to play with the deserters, but now apparently they put a warrior instead of the brute, so I'm not sure, let me see. So probably the apprentice, friends, will be the one that I have to choose. Because we have the swordsman, the ranger, which is the dagger guy, the archer and the brute, so like this. Now, what should you choose over here? Very quick, Nardnaz is useless because you get experience quite fast. Critical damage is a very good option. Resilience is useless. Scanning fighters is useless. Experience gain in combat. To be honest, nothing really matters because your guys will become so much more powerful after a while. So, reduce the speed at which fatigue stacks. This will be good for the entire game. The other ones are very situational. You reach max XP in the profession anyway, they also rebalance the way professions level up, so it will not be as hard. Critical damage, you will have a lot of critical damage because of the food. Constitution, you will have a lot of armor, so XP, uh, HP doesn't matter. Cunning fighters, again, you reach max level and you get a lot of influence just by resting at some point, so long works. Now, willpower can be very bad if you reduce it because, well... You will need it to go to the galvanize, which will increase your damage. Anyway, it's kind of bad. Danger is super, super bad. You'll be fighting a lot more battles. Probably, it says 10%, but probably you'll find 25% more battles overall because you rest a lot more times. And sometimes it will be 10%, and with another 10%, it will be 20, which will kind of be in the danger zone. Critical here is never take this. Never take this one. Make appearance, because we can basically have infinite carry capacity more or less we'll have about 10 donkeys in the end game plus helpers plus or companions now about this this is a major 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 problem if you play on the region lock you'll have a lot of problems finding money you'll have the, you'll have a lot of problems because you'll not be able to trade effectively you'll have a lot of problems because you cannot find all of the materials you need you need to roam the entire map the entire starter map which has four regions or I guess free regions, let's just say free regions, where truce, the bottom one, and storm cramp. You need to roam these regions to get all of the resources, meaning materials, meaning encounters, you'll need to visit a lot of locations to get free loot. And by playing like this, you'll actually 
have a very very bad end game because at some point during the middle part of the game you'll be too strong so everything will be unlocked but we'll still play it like it's region locked meaning we'll visit the regions in the same order but we'll have so much more freedom and i recommend everyone plays on this difficulty it's a major uh, it's a major how should i put it um it's one of the things I'm very stubborn about. I think this game should only be played in this adaptive exploration mode and not never in the region log mode. Yes, we'll not be able to have 10 people in the squad, but you should never have more than 4 people in my opinion, 4 warriors, 4 active warriors, 4 people that fight. Because it's very very hard to find equipment for everyone, it's very hard for them to level up properly, it's very hard to find them the right gear and to also level up the gear and to pay them and to feed them and so on so imagine you have to upgrade 10 weapons from level 10 to level 11 that's a nightmare you need to farm too much so this will actually minimize the grind because you'll have less people playing with you but again the condition is you play with less people on this part or if you want to play with more than let's say six seven people play like this adaptive exploration besides Sometimes the game will get too easy based on how far you explore or how much you know about the game. Expert, expert. To be honest, I'd have loved to play on Iron Man, but that's a big problem. You know what happened when I was playing on Iron Man? I got attacked by wolves, I got attacked by bandits, and I had to play the fight. So this basically means you will have to fight a lot more times. And I was watching TV, I was playing a fight, and then I suddenly realized, oh no. My archer died. That was the whole save. So yeah, Iron Man, even though it's a good choice, just doesn't feel right because this is not Battle Brothers and losing a brother here is very, very bad. Also, sometimes you want to save the game so you don't get locked out of a quest or do something bad. For example, you might accidentally pick to escort some idiot to another place and then you realize you have to fight two or three very, very hard battles. So, again, some quests are really peculiar, and you'll see what I mean. Huh, okay. I like their beards. You have no beard. I don't really like the... yeah, the women don't change their model. Don't change the model of the clothes, and they're still more or less the same, just smaller, so it will look very weird. <laughs> hey, okay, I like all of them to have beards. I don't know if it matters or not. Ah, come on, let's give him some hair. He deserves some hair. He seems to have been through a lot. Yeah. Now, as for their traits... He will have the Wrath, Bloodthirsty, by the way, uh, be careful because you might choose Nimble or Strong the wrong way, so this is a Dexterity character, so he will be Nimble. Glutton is pretty bad because, oh, Glutton and uh, Pickpocket will mean you'll pay a lot of money in the long term, so don't pick any of those. Uh, I think I just chose Loafer, yeah, Loafer. Swordsman will also get the Wrath. This guy will be strong. Be very, very careful, I mean it. Some people chose the wrong thing and in the end game this will matter a lot. This is also another dexterity character. So he'll be nimble, bloodthirsty, low for, but he will get to keep the first aid. The brute, same thing as before, strong, clever, huh. low for, wrath as well. Osbrick, Ludos, I will keep their names. Bloodthirsty Pony. And I guess I should just choose that one. 
in stocky because you will be carrying stuff. <laughs> depressed donkey, that's really depressing. So it will be unlucky for him. Oh, he's so cute, look at him. Yeah, remember you can also modify your pony. I don't think people realize that, but... Okay, so let's recap. He has rough, bloodthirsty, and nimble because he's dexterity based. Critical and strength because he's strength based. Dexterity and critical hit. Strength and critical hit. I'll just keep the original names, that should be fun. And I think I'll be playing the first 10 episodes strictly on camera and after that we'll start to farm off camera as well. I mean, it depends if people want to see more of the starting game or they want to see more of the later parts of the game. Probably at some point I'll over throw my other playthrough of the game. I just don't have enough time to run a single playthrough now. Otherwise I'll be playing this one for 20 hours and then we'll be more or less at the same what? Don't do that. When you start the game, you have to select... Guess what? Tinkerer for everyone. That means they get 2% more critical, so they will start with a pretty good critical chance in the beginning. Give everyone Tinkerer until you unlock the other professions. Also, we need someone to be... Guess what? The woodcutter. So... Oh, huh. Oh, I guess you can... Okay. So this will be 1-1 one, one early access and 1-1... One, one, hmm, that, that's not going to work. So this will have to be on 5. Okay, basic tips. Gather all the resources you can. Don't worry about the combat. I recommend you fight very 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 little, because if you fight very little, you will not level up. If you don't level up, you will have a much easier time fighting the harder encounters. Only level up when you have enough gear, if you, that makes sense. So fight as less, as little as you can. Fight a lot more when you have the right gear. Oh, look at that sharp daggers. I also have to. Ah, I forgot to switch him. They should have been both one handed weapons. Because the one handed weapons deal as much damage as the two handed, but as you can see. Yeah, I have to change him to a one handed weapon as soon as possible. I forgot about this problem. But on the other hand, if you give them two handed weapons, they might get two handed weapon traits, and two handed weapons are so strong in that game. Ah, so I guess it doesn't really matter that much anyway. Yeah. I'm looking for a spear. I don't see a spear. Also, try to play on the very very fast animation speed. Otherwise you'll spend days just in a single uh, area of the game. By that I mean real days. I guess we're very slow. He hit him even before he started to join combat, yeah. It will be a problem, as you can see our movement speed is so low. Oh, by the way, you can also do it like this, 25. I'm confident we'll hit the right person. Don't hit him. Hit him. Okay, so... Oh, the archer wants to play, so we'll have to... Ah, that's annoying. See, this this is sometimes a mistake I'll do. In the beginning, I don't have enough movement points, so I cannot flank the archer no matter what I do. So I guess we just have to focus on this guy, and focusing on a single guy is very good in the beginning. 
Already got galvanization. That means a lot more damage. So let's try to give them buffs. Yeah, they're attacking exactly as I want them to attack. Other characters. <sighs> the problem with this in the beginning, as you can see, I cannot do anything with this character. I don't really want to attack the archer, because the archer is pretty weak as it is. So let's surround this guy, so we get the surrounded bonus. The surrounded bonus gives a lot more damage. It doesn't seem like 20% is a lot, but believe me, it's a lot. Especially if you crit or if you attack two or three times with a... I'll just end the turn. I don't want to injure that other character, so I'll just end the turn. Oh nice, he got a crit. Don't let anyone... Oh, no, no, don't let them escape. In the beginning, we need to do a lot of things to gain path points. If you're wondering, why did he crit? Well, he has 9% crit, so he will crit quite often. Well, I guess you should finish him. This is what I'm doing, it's also for the path system and some other things, I'll show you in a minute. The path system is super super important. Spend non-temporary valor points, try to do most of these things if you can. Tinkerer. Pickpocket. We'll be stealing everything that moves. <laughs> we'll be doing a lot of fun things. So he is the Brute. The Brute will always be a destroyer in my opinion, just because of how good the Weakening Blow is. Poison Impact, but again, that's medium armor. You want someone with heavy armor as well. Usually I go for critical hit, but in the beginning we need a little more damage. Hmm, I was thinking about something, but no, no, it's okay. Uh, we need a little bit of damage in the beginning, so don't worry about that. Two dexterity. Oh yeah, that's a, this is a good find. Also, the care management is very hard to do in the beginning of the game. The workshop is here, so every time you rest... We'll have to do something. Yeah, just don't question it. If they spend time near the pony, if they sit near a pony for 10 days, they might get a level up or a title. They also become good friends and that means if they sit next to each other, they'll have bonuses. Again, it's a lot of su subtle things. We'll have to manage your camp a lot. But for now, let's just play normally. Oh, I wish I could get another pony. No, let's not steal that. I just wanted to unlock the profession. He will be the thief. No, 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 no. He's the always the tinkerer. The thief will be the archer. The swordsman will be the miner, and this guy will be the blacksmith. Yeah, that's how it works. When I tell you what, they all speak now. Although the war and I can tell you aren't soldier. I want to steal that. We need to start stealing things very, very early on into the game, otherwise we'll not have enough points to do anything. So, if you see a little campfire here and there, you have to click it. You can... I guess you can also get a fisherman very early on, but I don't recommend it since you will not fish anyway. I just want to unlock the profession. 
It's a good idea to fish because you get a lot of free food by fishing, but again, it's one of the more useless progressions. I just want to... In the beginning, we'll discover the entire map, so we get a lot of knowledge points so we can unlock stuff. For example, in the beginning, we'll only lock running and stuff related to speed. Also, this one is very, very important, career plans. So, first of all, run and then career plans. So I can put, for example, if you, when you level up, you might have only one point into strength or two points into willpower. With that thing, you can just put two points into whatever you want, even though it doesn't have one point. Yeah, just don't worry. That, just think of it as making your life so much easier when you level up. Blacksmith unlock. I recommend you keep everyone on uh, Tinkerer for a lot longer, but I just like to give them their professions in the beginning, so I don't forget later. You can also craft stuff in the beginning as well. We don't have a lot of money. Don't speak with these guys, I forgot what they do, but I think one of them... Take a look at my wares. Steal your money. I guess you can buy stuff, but it's not again recommended since you will not really have a use for them. Are you? Why you have your work? Uh, let me think. Do I need something? Oh yeah, I need to craft rags for everyone. The rags will give you ten armor as opposed to what we have right now. So. Oh, yeah. I guess you can try to make one at least. And then we'll have to... So make armors, come, make some come. weapons. Take a look at my wares. And then we'll have to buy stuff. It's a huge difficulty curve. Now, I recommend you save before you try that, but... But I'll not do that. It's kind of cheesy, but I... You might want to do it, save before you craft and then reload if you fail or if the results are not to your liking. Ah, too, too early. Ooh. Yeah, it's a lot of practice. That was not so bad. So this guy will have it. So that's 5, so he'll have a little more armor, and this, these guys will be 5 as well. 5 is the minimum armor you can have. Ah, early game running. Might I interest you in my humble world? No, thank you. So now, right now we're just collecting stuff and finding locations, and also we're kind of running the clock. So, or... Uh, Wanted me to drop them a little bit. You can also take the keys in another order if you like. What I remember is pretty bad stealing the... Yeah, it's very bad stealing the logs, so let's not do that. Let's explore. Ah, this feels so nice just playing the game again. From zero. It's kind of fun, but worrying at the same time. We have to plant a lot of things, we have to put so many things out there. What do I mean by that? Well, you need to put, uh, you need to put the ropes on basically every mountain or every cliff to give you shortcuts. Whatever you want, or whatever, or whatever you can't. Whatever small thing you do to help you will be a big help. I guess I can replace the the yeah, the blacksmith for the woodcutter. I do not have enough space anyway in the beginning to do a lot of things with the wood. So again, you might want to replace him with the woodcutter, his profession as the woodcutter. But I know how to do, how to play the game, so I'll not bother about it. Us and learn from us. No, I'll do the Tiltran hunt later. Sorry, become part. I want to Don't see how this has changed. Trying to sell me your filth. 
I am in need of fangs to accomplish our ancient rituals. They sell white leather in the beginning? That's cool. I also need to craft that one. So actually, no, let's get the if hunt right now. Come back, Victoria. I know where to start the hunt, where to do it, but not yet. One of the things I like to do in the very, very... Ah, okay. I have to rest. The very early game, I will go to the mines. Oh, he was not assigned. Well, that's annoying. Why were you not assigned? Hmm, let's modify this a little bit. Uh, don't worry about it. This is so they gain more happiness and I get two tools per rest. I want the silver ones. The silver ones will have uh, the items for you. Yeah, it's easier traveling on the road, but I just have to get all of the extra loot. So yeah, normally I have to go and just finish the armor, the mine as fast as possible so we can get iron for our armors. And not just that. It's very important to do some encounters very early on before they become too strong. You there! If you are so inclined, you could give us a hand. Sure, let's attack the wolves. Try to help the guards as much as you can. I think, uh, anyway, let's not get into that. Don't worry about it. There are many pathways that will do a lot of things. But just know that you have to help sometimes the guards, sometimes you have to attack them. So we can do it like this, so see, we can see where the exact location is where we hit both of them. Eh, <laughs> 6 damage. Not bad. No, why is he running away? Oh, okay, that, that will be a problem. They just run away. Yeah, see this is why I don't recommend you to lower your uh, willpower. Look at how fast galvanization is. I doubt the wolves will be able to get one hit off. Also try to conserve. Try to conserve your um, valor points. You have so little now. We lost a little bit, but that's okay. Little bit of lost armor, not much. Okay, so he leveled up. As you can see, they have a different level up system. Sometimes you can choose the class right straight away. Sometimes you need to do something else. So he will gain valor points as soon as he kills an enemy. Now, since I don't have that thing unlocked that I told you about, we'll just have to pick movement. Pick every time, try to pick where you have two stars. I guess I could have bought more food. Oh, we cannot even cook. I forgot about this completely. Yeah, slowly moving towards the iron. 
Yeah, this is... I, I don't know, it's so much fun just playing the game. I'll record the episode one, one after the other. Yeah, I'll go over there to get that all of that cool gear, but... I don't want to take a detour that is too long for me, because right now we're super slow and super weak. Another knowledge point. Career plan. You don't really have to choose career plans. You can do the endurance training or whatever increases your speed, but... I just like to get this very, very early on. By the way, Markers is the most useless one in the game. I guess you can go over there. But again, it's not really worth it. Oh yeah, see, this is where the chest is located. Remember this. To think that we have been through that's why I need mercenaries. To be honest, I never did this battle without attacking the bandits, so I'm not sure how it will be different if you don't attack the bandits, but I always did it like this because it's much it's much more interesting and I think it's easier to fight in the cave. Ah Roven Hove once he is gone, the farmers of children will have no one to protect them. We won't have to force them to share their resources with us. Nope, that's not how it works. So we got a little bit of uh, armor. You can probably make one or, one or more armors and maybe upgrade the weapon or two for your companions, but I, I am pretty sure this will be enough. So it will be four versus three. Which is technically enough, because sometimes they'll start... Yeah, this is the perfect position. As you can see, they start with a boulder falling on their heads. So you want to keep them in the same position, if you can. You also want to use weakening blow this time. If you can, because you don't want them to fight. Uh, yeah, I remember trying to use the characters that gain a valor points from killing the enemy. Uh. Wow, galvanization is much easier to unlock now. Ah. Sadly, this guy didn't go. Yeah, you should have. Yeah, I guess it's pretty hard to do. You should have made that guy stuck in the boulder. Oh, wow, a punch. What would I ever do? Now, only he will fall and die. Well, it's a temporary point, either way. Glorious. Also, I like to repair that armor because you might have to do another fight. So the captain is so here to thank us. You for your courage and your devotion to our... 100 coins, thank you. But also, you get to loot the golden chest key. Uh, let's make a few lock picks because we have some iron. Ten are more than enough in the beginning. Now it's probably time for people to get super super angry. Look at how many points we have. Yeah, like I said, we have to invest some points in this part of the of the skills as well. But for now, more related to running. I mean, also need to get out as fast as possible so we don't waste as many materials as we do. Huh? 
Ok. So that was the loot from one the bandits and the, the, again this is just the loot for from the cave. Let's save. And let's see what the loot is from the guard outpost. If you do this beginning, you get so many things, it's remarkable. Yeah, I guess you can use the ringleader dagger, but at the best I prefer the this one. Because of the poisoning skill. And now we can open also the golden chest, which will have a lot of interesting loot. Ah. Let's see if it changes loot. Probably it will change loot. The sword is a pretty bad thing to get early on, in my opinion. Because it doesn't do a lot of damage. I would have preferred the bow or a better knife or even a better mace. Looks like they lower the loot. Because that's a golden chest. It, sh it should have more. Yeah, I guess the loot is static now. And if you're wondering why is this bad, well, it's not necessarily bad, but this means I need to give him a shield now, because it's a one-handed weapon. I guess we can make some shields. Okay, next thing we'll do is go all over the map, all around the map, I mean, to mine, the, mine in the mines, also go to the windmill, and then we'll go back to the to Stormcramp and craft. See you next time, bye!